My first Roland keyboard was the Jupiter 8, believe it or not. I was over in Japan with Journey on the Escape Tour, and um, they showed it to me, and I was immediately attracted to the dual A and B part and the, the idea of blending and splitting and I thought, well, this is a very smart scent, you know, and I love the sound of it. So I remember buying two of them, and I went home with them, and, you know, we did the Frontiers record with uh, the Jupiter 8. The Jupiter 80 is now my main keyboard. It sits on top of the V piano. Because I missed the, the Jupiter 8, sadly, it was getting so old, I didn't want to take it on the road. But I really wanted to get something more uh, modern and, and, and up to date. And, and when I heard the Jupiter 80, I said, here's my synth. The other great part of the Jupiter 80 is I'm able to stay out of the way. Uh, sometimes when Neil's playing a solo or, or an L singing, I'm able to mute, you know, what I'm doing and then I can hit a slider and bring in some voices or some more cut to it, you know, and then, and then come back. So live, I'm able to kind of just play around with what's happening on stage. So it's, it's very versatile in that sense that um, the tonal range is, is uh, is wide, it's just kind of wide, and, and, and it jumps. I mean, the thing that hit me was, you know, when you play a sound that has four banks on, the velocity is very sensitive. So if I'm playing the separate ways whistle, I don't want to overshadow it with the, the stan -an 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 -an. so all I simply have to do is back off of the keyboard and bang on the whistle and there it is. You know, so I'm actually using the powerful velocity within the engine, which I thought was really cool because in the old days, you couldn't do that. I always tell people, you know, have the physical keyboard in front of you because they always ask me, what do you think of this and that and the new soft sense? And I'm like, hey, they're great for the studio. But when you get in the trenches live, it's such a great thing to have a, a responsible keyboard that is actually playing the sounds, you know? Like the Jupiter 8 played those oscillators. This thing simulates those oscillators and then some, you know? And to have that all in front of you, to have the power to interact live with it, filter it, split it, you know, change sounds, it's just, it's the way to go.